welcome back to my channel. My name is Aria and this is Odd. You've seen her on my channel before. We did a video where we asked each other questions about the course and we did some drawing together. But today we are going to do something quite fun. We are going to play Would You Rather and it's a university edition. So we're going to ask each other Would You Rather questions which we have um, spent some time. I spent like 15 <laughs> and she was what she was like oh i'm not good at this kind of thing you know um, and then she was done in like five seconds and then i was just like uh, i don't know what to do <laughs> right now yeah so i was rushing she saw me like on my phone <laughs> but um yeah uh we've figured out our questions and we're gonna ask each other now so i have no idea what she's written and uh, I have no, well, I do have an idea. <laughs> but um, I've read some questions as well. And um, we're gonna ask each other and uh, see um, how we feel. So, um, do you wanna begin and ask me your first question? Okay. You're ready. I'm ready. Okay. I, I don't know if it's good or not, but okay, you can pretend it is. Okay. It's fun. <laughs> okay. Would you rather live with 10 roommates? Okay. Oh, live with one person, but you don't like this person. I don't like this person. Oh. Yeah. Um. Okay. So with ten roommates, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. But I already live with seven, and um, I think eight now. Someone else is. Moved what? In. As in they they're living in someone else's room. Oh shit! <laughs> Secretly. A secret. That's not a so secret. <laughs> it's not a secret anymore. But I won't. Won't be mentioning names. <laughs> um. So yeah, I've already almost got 10 people. Really? So, you know. How are you feeling? I get a lot. Uh, the kitchen is a mess. Oh yeah. You'll see it in the room tour one, but it's a mess. So, um, yeah, I think I'm leaning more towards the living with 10 flatmates, but if I lived with someone I hated, like, I would just hate uni. You know, like if I'm imagine if it was like a twin room where you live in the same room, oh, yeah. that would be awful. Um, but it's so like yeah. if you don't, if you don't like a person, but you can just avoid it to like, you know, like you're living in the same like flat or something, but you maybe don't have to talk. So I don't know, because ten is a lot. Uh, it's a lot for you, so you wouldn't. Uh, uh, you'd want to live with someone you hate. I. <sighs> I mean, it's more probably someone I just don't like that really hated, hated, so I can just pretend it's he or she's not there. Yeah. You know? I, I, I don't know. Um, okay, so you don't have an answer? Yeah. Gotta pick something. Yeah, I would say just one people. One, oh, avoid this okay. <laughs> but what if you have to cook at the same time? And like, say we wait, or I'm gonna wait. I mean, just, that's just, no, you just push them <laughs> out the window of <laughs> my face now. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, for me, 10 flatmates, are, I'm already doing it. So, <laughs> um, okay, I'll read out my question now. So, my question to you is yes. Would you rather have 8 a.m. classes every day mm -hmm. or only have online classes every day? Uh, I think I would just say 8 a.m. classes because yeah. I mean I do wake up pretty early Yeah, um, we know that <laughs> Yeah, and even if 8 is pretty like early and I prefer like more 10 -ish, Yeah. I feel like, you know, having to take the bus and everything and see actual people, it's helping a lot with just really working and being motivated and everything. So, yeah, I'll be fine with eight. eight. Okay. Um, well, I, on the other hand, do not wake up early. I want to, but um, I actually only fall asleep a couple hours before eight. So, it would be quite difficult to wake mm -hmm. up early in the morning. But I feel like when you do it all the time, you you know, you get into a routine, you're yeah. used to waking up at like, um, say 7.30 in order to, you know, get to your class at like 8 something. So, uh, I would say, yeah, 8 as well. Um, because online classes, I feel like it wouldn't work for my course at least. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because you need to be in the studio all the time. We use like light boxes and we're drawing and we have to do line testing, which is another thing. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're familiar with any of this. But, um... Yeah, uh, I you see. have to use far away. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but you have to be in the studio a lot of the time to create these animations. Uh, yes, you can make them at home, but 
you have to use their facilities. So if it was always online, don't think I'd get anything done. Yeah. And it'd be so tough. Like I don't enjoy online classes. Mm. Like and just sitting here. Too. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with eight a.m. Okay, <laughs> that's my turn. Yes, your turn. Okay, I chose to do something specific. Uh, so, would you rather draw digitally but without any colors, or you can draw on paper but you don't? Wait, we put it on paper, but you know it's on paper or digitally but without colors. Oh, okay. So digitally with colors. Without. Oh, without colors. Yeah. Oh, so draw digitally without colors. Yeah. And the other one was. On paper but with colors. Oh, on paper but with colors. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm, okay, that's. <laughs> I'm a digital artist. So yeah, that's why. That's why. Okay. Uh, I think I'd do paper then. This whole year I've been drawing. Well, it's not even been a year, but <laughs> I've been um, doing traditional 2D animation on paper. So I haven't even been doing digital art. I haven't posted on Instagram. So I'm kind of already doing that. <laughs> Maybe um, one day. Yeah, we'll be back. I'll be back. I'll return. <laughs> but it's been kind of hard lately. But um, yeah, I think I think colors are kind of important. Mm -hmm. yeah. It would definitely be a challenge drawing without colors. Um, you know, like with character design and stuff, color is quite, you know, an important element. So, yeah, I'm gonna go um, paper but with colors because I need the colors. What would you say? Well, I still have colors too, but I much prefer drawing on my iPad. Yeah. So, I would say digitally without colors, but I mean, it's not. I'm not drawing as much as you, so I mean, it's not a big deal for me. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, black and white isn't really a right? So you could do like black and white drawing. Yeah, that's a style. That's not my favorite one, but that's not my career, so I guess it's fine. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just hard for me. Um, okay, next question. Yeah. Would you rather have a study abroad opportunity during freshers? Or be there for freshers but never go on a study abroad? Uh, I would be going abroad. Like, I mean, I don't care about freshers. I yeah, mean, okay. like, yeah, yeah we we'll just go abroad, technically. Okay. That's, That's basically what I did, so. Mm. I mean, I'm abroad, I'm. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I love freshers for me. It's because some people really like love freshers, like freshers and they're so excited, they book like yeah. tickets to all the clubs, all the opportunities here, so they wouldn't miss freshers. Mm -hmm. But it's like a study abroad, you're going to another country. Like I, I would I would go for the study abroad. Um, to be honest, what was your opinion on freshers anyway? Yeah. Well I, I think we went to Sophie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, and I think I was the only one I did, to be fair. Um, it was, well, people. I mean, I don't know, I didn't really join the thing. Yeah. But I guess, in a way, it was quite funny to see everyone so excited and be like, oh, we're going here and here and just met everyone. Uh, but that's not really. Like, I mean, one thing, one night is fine, or two with friends and stuff. But I won't do like the whole week, week every yeah. day. That's way too much. It's too intense. <laughs> yeah, I think so as well. Um, I mean, I didn't do too much for freshers either. I went to a couple of events, but besides that, no, I was just <laughs> on my own really, <laughs> um, getting to know my flatmates because I was one of the first people to move in to my flat. Um, and yeah, and the only other times I went out was. You. So, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, besides that, I mean, freshers with you would amazing. But <laughs> I much rather go abroad than hang out with you. <laughs> I'm joking. That's a joke. <laughs> okay. That's a you sit the window here. Just I just leave. <laughs> I'm joking. Sorry. Right, we'll both go abroad together. How Thank about that? You. Yeah. <laughs> so. Would you rather sit in every day yeah. or having like a massive studio session in one day? Um, I think study every day because mm -hmm. if you, you can break it up and make it smaller, yeah. like, like shorter I mean. But um, 
one day I feel like that's so intense mm -hmm. especially if if you if you're like me and you wake up in the afternoon <laughs> you don't really have yeah, the day, day yeah. you don't have time to waste you need to like <laughs> live go, the go, moment go, do everything go. you're everywhere go yeah you're going everywhere so yeah I would say breaking that up every day how about you um technically I would say every day too but I like I do like do a lot of things mm -hmm. and when I'm doing this I need time so I feel like if I'm doing my study every day mm -hmm. I'd be like I don't have like every day I won't have time for doing something else yeah so I might be doing both but I feel like what's really working for me is like just one intense day because I'm like I'm so scared to not do thing for uni and stuff that I would be really focused on it yeah. and but if I have time every day I'll be like so chill and stuff that I won't be really focused on it and be just like oh whatever I can do it today, tomorrow and everything so yeah one day one day oh okay yeah it, I mean I would be really anxious but sometimes it does help me to be anxious so yeah I'm doing yeah. well I guess <laughs> I mean, if you can get everything done in one day, I guess the pro of that is like you've got it done. It's, yeah. You don't have to go back and do it all over again. Yes. Yeah. yeah, I can do it. I would be just crying by the end of the day, and, but I can do it. It's okay. You won't be crying tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah. That's yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, oh. <laughs> my next question to you is: Would you rather live in a big city for uni, okay. or live in a town for uni? Which is kind of what we're doing right now, we live in the town. Yeah, but, that's true. But how do you feel now that you've lived here for about five months? Oh, well, I mean, I don't really mind because even if I was living in a big city, um, I mean, I do love big city, don't get me wrong. Yeah. But if you want to enjoy everything, you need money too. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. That's a little, little thing. Yeah. But like right now, if I was in London, I won't be complaining. <laughs> um, so I feel, yeah, I would say a big city because I do like them really much. Mm. But at the same time, when I was in one in France, I wasn't like um, really enjoying the whole thing because you need to travel and you need to pay. And yeah. most of the thing, like you can do the thing alone or like just going to a museum or a coffee, but it's still nice to do with friends. So you need to. There's so much to just think about. Mm -hmm. but, yeah, big city, big city. But with money. <laughs> but with money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you got no money, would you still? <laughs> yeah. I mean, like even London or the city, you can just find like a park or something, something free, free to do. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. I would say for me, um, a big city as well. Uh, I mean, I've lived in London like my whole life, so and I had the opportunity to study in London, but I thought, you know, I've only got three years for my degree, I might as well, you know, experience another part of the UK. Um, so I chose Bournemouth, um, also by the beach, you know, yeah. the sunlight's getting warmer, right? It as is. you can see. Um, it's gonna be great to go down to the beach and enjoy um, the great weather there. Um, and also, I just think that. Um, living in a city, although I'm like I'm used to living in a city, mm -hmm. I think that um, you can only do so much, you know, because I've already done most of the things, you know, in London. I've experienced London my whole life. It's just I needed a change, and I think mm -hmm. that going to uni in Bournemouth was, you know, a good change because I get to live independently, oh. you know, completely independently. Because <laughs> before I moved here, I didn't know anyone here. And um, yeah, I think it's just helped me grow as a person individually. <laughs> um, but yeah, living in a town, although I've chosen to live in a town, I don't really think I'll do it again. <laughs> it's just, it's too small. You know, when you come from somewhere like London and then to Bournemouth, it's like, there's not much to do. But um, yeah, I would say city as well. <laughs> but I can't change that. <laughs> yeah. Do you have any big city in mind? Oh, other than yeah, uh, London, big city. Um, yeah. I always wanted to live in like LA. Oh, that's wow, a big city. that's really far away. Yeah, it's far away. But uh, <laughs> I mean, I, I, you know, wanted to apply to like um, universities in North America, but they're too expensive. Mm -hmm. 
no. We, uh, we don't have like student loans like we, like we do here um, for home students. The um, the fees there are too much, so that's why I opted for Bournemouth and Bournemouth <laughs> University from <laughs> LA to Bournemouth. It's a downgrade. Sorry. Um, but yeah, one day after I graduate, I can always move to LA if I mm. wanted to, and um, you know, LA is big for like uh, TV, film. Mm -hmm. um, it's literally the place to go for like our careers. So um, yeah, you might see me in LA one day. <laughs> Maybe. <Bye. Bye. laughs> so, would you rather have a show here, but you don't have any only days, or like a year longer, yeah. but you do have only days in between terms? So have a shorter year, yeah, but have no holidays, yeah, or a longer year, but you have only days in but between. Oh, okay. Um, I think I need to have a break. Yeah, I think I can't do it straight. Just, just working straight. Mm -hmm. I think the holidays is a good time to relax, but also like calmly uh, catch up with work. Yeah, yeah. You, you know how we have like consolidation week. That's true. Yeah, we have a week where we can just. Um, well, it's meant to be for catching up with work, but a lot of people just go home, just <laughs> live too. So, yes. <laughs> yeah, you go home, sleep, do whatever you want. Um. But yeah, I just think that um, yeah, I need a, any breaks. But I don't mind having a longer year. Um, I'd say it's just yeah, having breaks in between is important so mm -hmm. that you know I can function. <laughs> yeah, and especially our summer is still really long, even if we finish in like June or something. That's true. Because yeah. we started again in like October, so we have much time in between. Yeah. So I'm fine with it too. Yeah. Okay, I got another question. So, would you rather live with your best friends okay. at uni, uh -huh. but have to be at uni for long hours, mm. or live alone at uni, but have lots of free time? Um, okay. <laughs> um, I don't want to sound mean, but I will go with Probably the second one. The second one, okay. Like having free time and stuff because technically, if I have free time, I can see my friends. That's too. true, that's a good yeah, yeah, um, I mean, the first one is not that bad too because if you spend a lot of time at uni, yeah. you don't have too much choice to, you know, see your best friend too much and at the end be like, I want to kill her. So that's actually good too. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like living alone is quite good, especially if you have time outside to see people. Yeah. Oh, second one. Second one. Okay. Uh, I think I would go. All oh, the second one sounds interesting. Like you know, being able to have a lot of free time and do whatever I want, really. Mm -hmm. And you could go visit your friends. <laughs> I feel like living with your best friend. You're you know you're living with people that yeah. you know that you you know you're good with. Um, and also having long hours isn't really a negative thing. I think I think it's like. Oh. For me at least, I just feel like if you're in a space where you're working mm -hmm. and you, you're there just to work, then you're gonna get lots done. So when you come back, yeah, yeah, sure. you are more relaxed, you've done everything for the day, mm -hmm. you can just chill out with your yeah. friends, do whatever you like to do with them, and just spend the evening together. Um, so I think, yeah, the living with your best friends one is the one for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, free time. Yeah, I wish I had more free time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one is hard, it's like you need a balance of choosing your friends or doing whatever you want. Mm -hmm. That's hard. But she already made that choice. She's living with <laughs> her. <laughs> anyway. Okay, I think that's the last one for me. This one's your last one? Um now yes. Now yeah. Okay. Me too. Me too. So would you rather do a presentation in front of your whole class for five minutes? Okay. Or do a longer one, but just to one teacher? Oh, do a longer one for one? Okay. Uh, I would say in five minutes in front of my class. Yeah. Because I've done it before. Oh, okay. It, yeah, when I was in uh, secondary school. Um, <laughs> yeah, I think uh, five minutes already is a long time to just be talking mm -hmm. to a group of people um, and yeah when it's in front of your class it's I guess it's not too bad um, I'm I would say I'm not the most 
confident person when it comes to speaking to a big group of people but um i think i can do it for five minutes if i if i know what i'm talking about yeah, yeah. i can i can talk but <laughs> uh if it's just a one person i feel like that's a bit more intimidating what do you think well i mean if it's just one tip so i think i should be fine okay um and but the thing is if you're doing this in front of your class uh, a lot of time people don't care like say don't even listening to you but if that's true that if just one people you'd be like mm -hmm, and just Focus. listening and remember every fucking mistake so but at the same time that's a great thing because yeah. if it's longer and it's just like one teacher is supposed to technically like ask question and stuff and in a way yeah. that's quite good to just have like this Thailand so I guess it's like um, you get better like feedback because I'm person yeah. focused on you. Okay, yeah, that's a good way of thinking about it. I think. Yeah, yeah, because when you're doing this with your class, people be like, just yeah, okay, that was good, and that's it. Like that's they it. won't try. I mean, that was like as beginning of the year we did this thing about photo and stuff, and everyone was looking at our photo and be like, yeah, that's good. Thank you very much. That's really nice. Yeah. But, you know, that's not really a thing. So yeah. So you would say. Along with the teacher. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna stick to my answer just because, <laughs> like, I mean, I could do it in front of a teacher as well, but I don't know. I just feel like, um, you know, if I have good friends in that class, yeah, they would give me feedback. Right. I will. <laughs> oh, she will. So <laughs> yeah, I've got, a, I've got a good friend here. I will be the only one and be like, I have five questions actually. And oh. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, it will help me. So that's good. <laughs> okay, I ha this is my last question. Um, okay, let's let's go. <laughs> Would you rather have to change your degree to something else right now, so okay. right this instance, okay. or be forced to take a gap year but return to the same course afterwards? Uh, how long is a gap? Uh, just just one year. Okay. Uh, I is this a tricky one? <laughs> I would say probably just changing my major because I don't want to kind of lose another year. Um, I mean, it's not really losing, but I did a gap here before and I did change yeah. my major quite a few times. So I just want to be done now. So yeah, what about you? Me, uh, I think I would do the gap year. Yeah. I think I'm, <laughs> as I mentioned before, I'm very like passionate about doing animation. Like that's you what are. I love. <laughs> she knows, I always say it every video. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just feel like animation is the degree for me and i can't see myself changing it to anything mm. else so if i have to wait the year i'll just wait the year yeah you can yeah. see like drawing and stuff during yeah. the year so. i think it would be a good chance for me to like grow my platform you know filming youtube videos yeah. and um, every two months <laughs> oh no, no no if i have a gap year then no it won't be every two months or so. <laughs> but um yeah if yeah if i have a gap year then i have the chance to do a lot you will work, you yeah. know, get some money. Then when I come back, then I have money to actually do things, yeah. you know? <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna go with the gap here. Um, but yeah, if if I wasn't really like so passionate about doing animation, then yeah, then I would just change my degree. But yeah, I definitely want to <laughs> do the gap here. Um, yeah, I and think so that's all of our questions. We did five each and um, yeah we're done for today <laughs> so uh, i hope you enjoyed this video of us playing would you rather um you can find another video on Ord's channel of us we answered some questions um that she got from instagram so please check that out oh. i will plug Ord in my description <laughs> you can check her out you can check out her art on instagram and um yeah show her some love <laughs> so i'll see you next time not in two months Three. <laughs> Three. <laughs> we never know. We never know. <laughs> so I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.